Meet Prem and Bo. They have just arrived to study a degree in the UK. It is their first time here and a dream come true. They first meet in their new house share and quickly become friends. Before the course starts, they travel around the city and start to fall in love with the UK. Before they left their home country, they dreamt of working in the UK. But everyone who had been to the UK and came back told them it was impossible and there was no point in even trying. Prem and Bo convince themselves that finding a job in the UK is out of their reach and get stuck into their studies. A month into her studies, Prem meets Steve. He tells her he knows a few international students who got jobs in the UK. Steve agrees that it's hard, but it's not impossible given enough time, information and dedication. That night, Prem cannot sleep as she imagines how her life would be different if she created the chance to stay in the UK after her degree. The next day, Prem sets aside the whole day to sit in the library and start to research how to find a job in the UK. She reads blogs, articles, the UK government website, student forums and big jobs boards. By the afternoon, her head is spinning and she heads home to have dinner with Bo and tell him all her news. Over dinner, Prem cannot stop talking. She is so excited to share all her news with Bo. He stares vacantly at the TV as they eat takeaway in their dorm. Finally, Prem stands in front of the TV. Are you even listening to me, Bo? She said. I'm listening, I'm listening. But what's the point? Steve probably just made up those stories to get your hopes up. Don't waste your time looking for a job here. Just concentrate on your studies and we can get a good job when we go back home, he said. I read that less than 5% of international students gets a job here, Bo. But what if that could be us? Wouldn't that be amazing? She said. It's impossible. Just give up already. Now get out of the way, Prem. This is my favourite part of the film. Prem goes back to eating dinner, but inside she is burning with anger. If other people got a job here, then why can't she? What makes them so special? The next day, Prem books the first appointment she can with the career services and goes in to see Trish. She is kind and enthusiastic and helps her look over her CV and gives her some tips on finding jobs. But when Prem asks what companies she should apply to, Trish says she needs to do her own research and find a visa sponsor. Trish gives her a list of useful websites and says that graduate programs are now open if she wants to apply. Prem goes back to the library, opens her laptop and sits and makes a list of the companies she wants to apply to, checking whether they sponsor or not. She knows even then some companies might not sponsor her, but she figures it's worth a shot. She finds out that jobs in professional and financial services have the greatest chance of giving a working visa. And even though she has not studied that, she knows companies are not worried about her degree. Prem realises her best chance lies in applying to big companies for jobs in high demand and doing it early. Exhausted, she comes home late and shows Bo her list. He can't believe that big companies like PwC would want to hire international students, especially if they did not study a job-related degree. As where Bo comes from, you always go on to do the job that you studied for. Over the coming weeks, both Prem and Bo get swamped with coursework, homework, student activities and a few parties along the way. Prem gets up early one Sunday and realises if she's ever going to get a job, she has to be consistent. She sets aside 30 minutes a day in the morning before she has to go to class to send out applications and practice for online tests. Bo is starting to think about looking for a job as he enjoys life in the UK more and more. But even with Prem nagging him, he says he'll do it after they graduate. Prem knows that by then it may be too late. Getting up one morning, she gets an email letting her know she's been invited to sit an online test. The company says she has five days to complete it. Problem is, she's never done any kind of online test before in real life. She starts searching online and again her head starts spinning with all the free blogs tests and opinions from other students. Bo pops his head round the door to borrow something. I got invited to do an online test, Bo. All this stuff online is so confusing. 
you think I should pay for one of these packages of tests to practice, she asks. No way. Why pay all that money when you could just do it for free, he says, grabbing a stapler and walking out. Prem goes back to practicing anything free she can find online and finally sits the company's online test. She fails hard. The time allowed is so short and the questions are nothing like she practiced. She slams her laptop shut, feeling thoroughly depressed that she may have blown her only shot. The next day, Prem sees Steve again in the student union. Hey Prem, how's the job search going, he says. It's so hard. I finally got an online test and I blew it. And I replied to a few companies and heard nothing back, Prem says. Steve laughs. Well, you know less than 5% of international students get jobs in the UK. It was always going to be hard, but it's about how much you want it. Instead of wasting hours searching for free stuff, find some online providers that know what they're talking about. Save some time and stick to the schedule. I read somewhere that the average graduate applies for over 50 jobs. Prem, it's your dream. Now it's just a case of how much you want it. Over the next few weeks, Prem doubles down and follows Steve's advice. She pays for an online test package and practices every day. She joins a debating club to practice her English at university. And she sets a target for the number of companies to apply to each week. Slowly, she starts to get more invites to online tests and even interviews. If she fails, she just sits back and thinks about how she can get better. Bo even starts helping her to practice for her interviews and he's secretly impressed by all the work Prem is putting in, though he still thinks her chances are slim. Finally, after months of hard work, Prem gets a final assessment, a digital assessment center for a firm she could only dream of working on before. She does her homework, prepares and practices every day before the assessment, and turns up online dressed in her best blouse and business dress. The assessment is fast paced and scary, with plenty of native English speakers and difficult problems to solve in a short space of time. At one point, Prem starts to freak out, but she remembers all her practice and speaks up as best she can. She's got nothing to be afraid of. All her past failures have helped her to become hardened, knowing that every no brings her a step closer to a yes. The assessment ends, and the HR person says that they will be in touch tomorrow. Tomorrow, stretches into a week. Prem emails the company to chase up her application and receives no response. She starts to feel depressed again, thinking maybe this was all for nothing. Maybe Bo was right. All her family friends who came back from the UK told her not to bother. The cousins who complained bitterly that the system was biased and that an international student had no chance in the UK. Finally, Prem sees her email notification and it's an email from her employer. She sits down on the bed and opens it up. Dear Prem, thank you for your patience. We are pleased to tell you that you have passed the final assessment. HR will be in touch with your contract and details for starting your tier two visa application. Shouting with delight, she runs into Bo's room to share the good news. He can hardly believe it. Prem did it. In her joy, he sees what he could have had if he had just started earlier. Now months later, he is starting alongside all the other international students who thought it was impossible, but deep down, they wanted the same chance as her. Would you rather be Prem or Bo? We know the journey to success is hard, but it is possible. International students have found jobs in the UK, and so can you.